y'all. It's Diane. We shall craft one in my old barn door and barn door treasures on eBay and digital Diane designs on Etsy for digitals only. So today I'm finally getting around to doing this video. Sorry it has taken me so long. Life has been crazy. Um, but I'm going to show you how I did um, the journals that are just um, are tied together with ribbon. No, no sewing. Um, you put a journal together, um, you put a signature together, you can decorate the cover, and then you put the journal together without having to sew it. So I thought I would take um, an opportunity this morning to go ahead and show you how I did that. So I've gone ahead and put a signature together. So just grab whatever papers you want to have in your signature and put those together and then I'm just going to put this to the side for a second and we're going to get started with the cover. So for the cover, um, I just have this, um, this was just a children's book that I got um, at a thrift store, no big deal, um, but these books, this book had some water damage on the pages and things and you can kind of see a little bit here. Um, so um, I've gone ahead, it was kind of falling apart anyways and I've gone ahead and cut it apart. And so we're just going to take these pages out and we're just going to use this for the cover. So we'll just sit these over here to the side somewhere and don't throw these away because they make super cute little envelopes. Like you can take this and fold it up like this and fold it down like this. You can round the corners, um, glue here and here, and you've got a cute little envelope for Happy Mail or whatever. So you can use these pages too. So don't get rid of them. Okay, so for the cover, um, I have the two, um, you know, it's good cardstock, or not cardstock, chipboard. Good chipboard or bookboard, whichever you want to call it. Now, I'm not going to need this, this little piece right here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to trim it off as near I can all the way up the side here. Okay, so I did that to both the front cover and the back cover and now we're going to decorate these really quick um, you can decorate them any way that you want to um, but i'm just going to do a quick um, decorating on them so that it doesn't take real long and i'll probably just let some music play because i don't really have to explain decorating the cover
Okay, so now I have the covers done, and I had originally created this one to be the front cover and this one to be the back cover, but I think I've changed my mind. So um, it will now go this way. So I've just covered the whole front, um, the insides, and the outsides of my chipboard. Okay, so they'll sandwich together like this. Okay, so this one will will not have a spine. This one will be a no sew, no spine journal. Um, I'll show you how to do another method of this in another video, um, but I think we're gonna use um, a pasta box with a little window to make it a little more fun, a little more interesting. So I'll do that in another video. Uh, but for this one, we'll do the no sew, no spine journal in this video. And um, I saw this method um, through, um, uh, there's a lady on Instagram. Her name is Alex Castro Ferrero, I think is her name. I'll try to remember to link her. She does YouTube, um, but she does very short snippets of YouTube videos, but her work is amazing. And so she does this with, um, she wires her spine. Or, or she wires her covers together. I haven't figured out yet how to do that, but she also uses fabric too. So I saw her do that, and then I saw Heather. Um, she is Ruby and Pearl XO, and I think that's her Etsy shop and her um, uh, her YouTube channel. So shout out to both of you ladies. Thank you so much for the inspiration um, for this video. So anyways, now what we're going to do is we're going to put the covers together. I mean, you can have a knot, you, you cannot have a spine if, if I can speak today. Um, but you, you've got to find some way to put the two together. So that's what Alex does. She, um, she does the, the fabric and the wire. And I love that look. It's like a rusted wire. Um, again, I will try to figure out how she does that. But um, So anyways, Heather does it this way. And she just takes a couple of pieces of fabric. And I have these little strips um, of coffee dyed fabrics. And I'm just going to take a couple of these. And the good thing with this is you can take your journal apart and redo it if you want to if you need more room or if you need less room um, you can do it that way so I'm just going to take a couple of strips of this coffee dyed fabric I think this one will be enough so I'm just going to split this one right down the middle and you can measure if you want to I don't measure I just eyeball everything so we're going to just split those and now I think that's going to be too thin so let's just do a different piece Okay, so let's do this one. So I'm just going to get a piece about this wide, like that. And then I'm just going to lay this on top of here and tear another piece about the same width. And it does not have to be perfect. Um, I am not a perfectionist. Okay, so I've got a couple of strips here. And your length is really going to be um, up to you. Um, as far as how much room you want to have and I'll show you what I mean in a second But I want to make these pieces pretty. I don't want just the fabric. You can do just the fabric if you want that raw um, Look, but I, I just want to add something pretty so um, I picked out some Some of this but I think it might be too bright and then I have this I think this is probably what I'm gonna go with. I also have this Hmm that might be really pretty too. Well, I'm just gonna cut a piece of each and we'll see which one we like better. Okay, so I've looked at both of them and I just really think that I like this one better. So we're gonna take this piece off and add a piece of this here. And then all you're gonna do is just kind of glue these together with your Fabri-Tac. So you're just gonna lay you a little Fabri-Tac on here or whichever kind of glue you want to use, whatever fabric glue you like to use. But the whole point is, and you can sew them if you want to. I don't want to sew them. I want them to kind of have raw edges. So I'm going to just glue them. Okay, so I have both of them glued together. And I'm just going to sit these to the side and let them dry for a minute because we need to work on our signature now. Okay, so we're just going to bring the signature in. Make sure you've got the papers in the order that you want them. Make sure nothing's upside down or anything. And I've just picked some papers, just some different, a variety of different little vintage book pages, music. These are my workbook pages that I love. 
This is from a Kitchen Clatter magazine. I've got some embossed pages in here because I just think they're so pretty like that. Um, let's see, what else do we have? We've got a field guide. Um, that's from that zip code book, lined pages. These are some of my ledger papers. And then this is from one of my digitals. I think it's the collage digital. I'll try and remember to put links below. So anyways, I just have a wonderful little variety of papers um, that I've chosen to make the signature with. So all we're going to do is I'm going to stack everything together. Okay. And I'm going to kind of pinch everything together like so, so that, you know, it's all in, it's all really close in the center is what I mean. When I say I'm pinching, I'm kind of pushing this down into the center to get them all lined up. Now, if you want to use clips or paper clips or anything for this next part, you can. I'm going to go ahead and put a clip on each side just to kind of hold the pages in place so that they don't slip while I'm punching the holes because we're just going to simply use a hole punch and punch just a couple of holes. So I'm going to put one clip there and one clip at the top. There you can see a little better now. I'm going to scoop my covers away and then I'm just going to take my crocodile. You can take a regular hole punch. If you don't have a crocodile, you can take a regular hole punch. It does not matter. So I'm just going to set this and I want the bigger hole because that's going to give me a little more room to work with with um, my ribbon. So I'm going to make this at the, uh, I'm going to bring it back as far back as I can bring it. And then I'm just going to slide this up onto the creases of my pages, the very center. And I'm going to line it up just like this. Hopefully y'all can see that. And then I am just going to punch. Okay. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other end. I'm just going to turn it upside down. I'm going to make sure that everything is pushed in there together really well. Let me get that out of my crocodile. Okay, and then I'm going to take my hole punch. And I'm going to go as far in as I can until the pages hit uh, the edge. And then I'm going to punch. That simple. Okay. Let me just get those little pieces out. Okay, so now we have our holes punched and I'm gonna keep it together with the clips just long enough to put my ribbon in. Now you can use any kind of ribbon that you want to for this. Um, I think I'm gonna use seam binding. Okay, so I have me a little pile of seam binding here. Now you can use seam binding, you can use sorry silk, you can use um, ribbon, Whatever you have on hand, um, as long as it's strong enough to hold your journal together and you want to, it, it kind of works a little easier if it's a little bit slick so that it slides through the holes. So now all we're going to do is, um, I kind of cut mine in a, in a point. I don't know if you can see that, um, but I just kind of let it wad up into a point. And then I'm just going to take this and push it through this hole. Now it's going to help if you have a little pokey tool, whether you have a, and all or one of these this is one of the um, the little tools that you use for a Cricut um, to weed with is what they call it so I'm just gonna pull that through there okay and then I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of gauge how much I need on this end and I want enough to be able to tie it so I'm gonna give myself a little extra coming out this end and then I'm going to do the same thing here because I'm going to need to go ahead and cut this so I'm just going to kind of cut it at an angle sorry if you hear beating and banging my neighbors are hammering on something okay and then we're just going to go through here just like this no barking Gracie it's okay Gracie okay so we're just going to go right through there and all you're going to do is just kind of push it down in that little hole until you can grab it on the other side and then you just pull. Okay, so now you have your signatures pulled and it has a really pretty look here on the inside. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of even this up a little so that I have, a same, have the same amount on the top and the bottom. So it's that simple. This is how you're gonna tie your journal together. 
Now you can remove your clips. We're gonna go ahead and fold our journal and then we're gonna bring our covers back in. And I'm gonna just stack these together, okay? And I don't mind if my pages stick out my cover. I kind of like that look. Um, I like having all of these. And if you wanna decorate it with laces or ribbons or tabs or whatever, I think it's really pretty to have them sticking out the edge. It's a personal preference. You can do it the way you like it. But this is kind of the little sandwich that you're gonna have. So you got a cover, your journal, and then the back cover, okay? So then all you're gonna do is you're gonna take your two little fabric pieces, um, your fabric and lace pieces, and you're just gonna glue them here. You're gonna glue one here and one here. You want them on the inside. No, you do not want them on the inside. Hang on. Actually, it doesn't really matter, I don't think. Um, I was thinking that you wanted them on the outside of this, but now that I'm looking at it, I think you want it on the inside of this because this is going to tie everything together. So I had that right in the first place. I just second guessing myself. <laughs> okay, so now we're just going to put, we're just going to glue this here and this here, and then we're going to do the same thing on the back. And I'm just going to use some fabric tack. So I'm just going to flip this over and I'm going to put a little fabric tack on the inside. And it doesn't take much. The fabric tack holds really well with fabric and paper, so it's a great glue. You can do this, or you can use art glitter glue, whatever your preference is. Okay. And then we're just going to flip it over, and we're going to come down here as close. I'm going to pull you down a little bit so you can see a little better. As kind of as close to your tie as you can you want to line it line them up make them even and so we're just going to glue that down there and i've got both of them glued now so we'll just give it a second for those to dry and then we're going to flip it over just like so and you want to make sure that your journal part is not sticking out you know you kind of want it to be a little even and another thing that you want to consider when you glue on the back is you want, I'm just going to scoot you up a little bit, you're, you want to give yourself enough room to grow in your journal. Now, the good thing about this is because this is just glued on, you can actually pull it off and, and give yourself a little more room later on if you need to. Um, but then, you know, you would probably tear the paper, so you'd have to put something else underneath it. But the whole point is, you can grow with this, okay? So you just kind of want, you don't want to smash this down before you glue. You want to just let it puff up a little bit and let it stay as puffed as you think it's going to be. And then you're just going to glue both of these here like this. And again, I'm just going to use the Fabri-Tac to do that. So I've added a little fabric tack here. And then again, not smushing this down, we're just gonna fold this up and kind of glue it down evenly with this one. And we're just gonna let that sit there and dry for a second. Okay, so now we're dry, and so I'm just gonna turn it back over. And it's gonna look like this a little bit. It's gonna look like it's got a little poof for a little bit until you start adding things in there. Because once you start adding things in there, then this is gonna spread out and that's what's gonna give you room um, to stuff your journal. And so the last step we need to do is we just need to tie this. Now, you can tie this on the inside of your journal, you can tie it on the outside, you can tie it in the center, the bottom, the top, whichever you prefer. I think I'm gonna tie it in the center. And so I'm just going to basically just tie a bow. I might do um, a double knot just to make sure that it stays together really well. Actually, I don't think I am. I'm just going to tie a bow. I'm probably going to tie two bows. Okay, so we're going to tie that one that way and this one this way. And then you have your journal put together like so. And you have room to grow. But now you can just flip through your journal. And I love how when you're when you open it, you can see the spine. Um, you can make a pocket here. You can decorate it any way you want to. But you can flip through your journal, and nothing's going to come out. You know, it's all going to stay together. Um, even the ones that don't have the holes in both ends. You know, like the little shorter pages. 
And then you have a quick and easy journal that you didn't have to do any sewing. You just tie it together with ribbon and it's really fun and easy. And this is your inside. You can, um, I probably need to tie it a little tighter just to um, get rid of some of that room, but you can add pages to it if you want to. Um, so yeah, it's just a super cute, quick and easy little journal that you can put together and um, use it and fill it up. And like I say, your spine will grow with it. So the fun thing about this one is I'm going to give this away when I reach my 10,000 subscriber mark. Um, I'm going to be doing a big giveaway. So this will be one of the journals um, that I include in the big giveaway to give away. And maybe we'll come back in the next video and decorate this one. And then in the video after that, maybe I'll do the um, the pasta box journal um, that is also a no sew journal, but it will have a spine. So I'll show you how to do that in upcoming videos. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I hope you make a journal like this. And if you do, um, shoot me a link to it so I can check it out. Send me a picture. You can send me pictures on Facebook, Instagram. Um, you can even send me pictures on Etsy or through email. But anyways, I, I would love to see what you come up with. So all of my information will be in the description box below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave any comments or questions that you have in the comment box below. And I hope y'all have a great day. Big hugs.